for the final run, I went full Giga Chad and I actually ranked everything up to rank 12. I even salvaged the original two items that I used because I was so confident that this would be a better run. So the question I'll ask you is if I tell you both of these are tier 120 pits, can you tell me which one is using damage versus close enemies and which one is using critical strike damage? There's a massive difference between how much of these statistics this character has. Welcome back everyone. Is leveling a rogue just for the finesse manual in order to temper weapons or gear for your barbarian for that extra critical strike damage actually worth it? Well, that's what we're gonna find out today. Enjoy. First thing we need to do is establish a baseline. So we're using a bash build. I'll leave a link to this build in the video description along with anything else that's used in this video. I'll be running the elixir of holy bolts in all of the rifts that we're gonna do and they will all be tier 120. Clearing out the trash in this or any of the actual rifts or pits that we're gonna be doing is really easy. This is just a build that excels at clearing the trash and this didn't seem to vary regardless of which setup I used. With the control build, we enter the boss with just about nine minutes and 40 seconds remaining. I did die once, which actually took away 30 seconds. So that's actually gonna be around 10 minutes and 10 seconds had I not died like an idiot. The current gear that this character has has damage to close enemies rather than critical strike damage. And again, this is the control. The reason I mention that is because if you're using a build like Whirlwind that's gonna throw out Dust Devils or even Tornadoes, as you move away, you might not benefit from that close damage. So you actually see additional benefit from having critical strike damage or even potentially another affix on there. Finally, after several minutes, we actually get this boss down with six minutes and 26 seconds remaining. Again, this is the control. Next thing I did was enter a 120 without using master working on the new items just to compare it to see if the critical strike damage was so much better that we'd see an improvement here. Again, we saw no problem clearing out the trash even though two of the items had zero ranks of master working on them. The items were enchanted and they did have aspects imprinted just for reference. Surprisingly, we actually reached this boss even faster than the first time. Again, two items are at rank zero, so very surprising here. However, the actual time to kill the boss was substantially longer, but Brambla is typically a tankier boss, so I wasn't all that surprised at the outcome. The one that ends up taking over six minutes in order to kill the boss, although it was successful, is a much slower boss time kill as compared to the original control test that used close damage rather than critical strike damage. However, reaching the boss was actually quicker with this setup. For the final run, I wanted to fully masterwork my items. So I did so and I used a little bit of streamer luck in order to get these items to a place where they wanted to be in order to really push the critical strike damage versus other affix comparison. Okay, two in a row. No whammy, no whammy, stop. That leaves the final version of this item looking like this as compared to the original version that I'll put up as well for you. Next, we'll upgrade the ring. First off, we're gonna get another good affix here, critical strike chance, also very good, especially for boosting critical strike damage that should directly work together. Perhaps the worst thing I can get on this ring, but I'm not mad. It's still a pretty good affix to boost. And there we have it, another critical strike damage bonus on one of the master working ranks. So very good setup here. We're gonna go ahead and test this and see what the final result is. Leaves the final item looking like this as compared to the original item as well. Now I will say it actually felt like I had an easier time with the trash, although the time is fairly comparable. As you see here, we're gonna enter towards the boss roughly in that same time frame, between about 10 minutes and 10 seconds and 10 minutes and 40 seconds. That could just be the difference in the maps that we got or even the mob type. On lower tiers when farming, say like a tier 101 with this particular character, this is actually a pretty good boss. I can typically just run in and nuke him. However, on a higher tier here, I noticed I needed a lot more uptime in order to deal that damage. That of course makes sense. But on the higher tier here, I had to typically move out, avoid some damage myself, and that actually made for a longer encounter. What I'm saying is it felt like when I was actually able to get uptime on the boss, I was dealing solid damage, more than the original build with damage to close enemies was dealing. However, there was a lot of time running around, and this just wasn't an ideal boss like I had in the original control test. And this was very interesting, because all said and done, I killed this boss with 6 minutes and 26 seconds remaining as well. So, it's kind of a head scratcher. So just to recap, the control or the bash build using damage to close enemies took until 10 minutes and 10 seconds remaining to reach the boss. The crit damage build took 10 minutes and 18 seconds remaining, so it was eight seconds faster to reach the boss. The total time for the control version was six minutes and 26 seconds remaining. The total time remaining for the crit damage was six minutes and 26 seconds remaining. That means that even though the crit damage reached the boss 8 seconds sooner, it took 8 seconds longer to kill, leading to the exact same time of completion. 
Here's some examples of what I was talking about in terms of attacking the boss or having uptime on it. You'll see I need to move around often, reposition and so forth. Now, I don't feel this was completely fair and as mentioned, damage versus close enemies would not be good if you were running a different build that ever damaged enemies from a distance. However, is it worth leveling a rogue, getting the manual, then re-rolling all your tempers, potentially even bricking or scrapping many items to do so? Well, that's entirely up to you, but you can see the overall difference isn't all that much. But there's a couple caveats here. First one, I ran Holy Bolt Elixir in all three of the runs. In the first run, the control one, that was the only boss that actually spawned ads. So there was some additional benefit on killing the boss just from having that elixir up. Second, the final boss that we encountered, having the crit damage items fully enchanted, masterworked, everything, was actually a more difficult boss to kill, at least in terms of its survivability. And the one that we had with Bramble, well, that's just a tanky boss to begin with. Overall, I feel that crit damage is better. The real question is, is it worth it? I'd love to hear your thoughts or feedback about this comparison. And as always, thanks for taking the time to watch and have a great day.